today, one of the issues that I feel very strongly about is, do I really reach out to the people that are struggling today? What I mean to say is, I have been there myself. When I talk and share with people about biohacking, why am I so passionate about it? Because I was there. See, when I was barely six years old, almost seven, my mom died. And very unexpected. I had brothers and sisters, but from that time on, we got raised in an orphanage. Seven years later, my dad remarried. Do you know the problem? I had grown out of a family life. I did not fit in. And so, at the age of 16, I was living on the street. Then when I started getting my bearings, finished my studies, I ended up on Wall Street, granted. But before that time, something else had happened. I had been paralyzed. I had a facial. Uh, my left side of my face did not work. The rest of my body did not work. And I had to learn how to walk and talk. I was told that I would have a speech impediment for the rest of my life. And then after that got settled, and my wife and I got acquainted and we decided to get married in the early 70s, mid 76. I tell you, that was awesome. A year later, our firstborn came and that was exciting. And I will never forget January the 30th, 1978, 10 o'clock in the morning, my little boy passed away in my arms due to a mistake in the hospital. It took us so long to get over that because so many people say, I will pray for you, pat on the back, anything you need, the money, this or this, but compassion, being there with you when you're down and out, were you able, or there were very few people able to really come down and say, listen, I know how you feel. I learned in my life that many times, it's better to keep your mouth shut, to just give somebody an arm around the shoulder. And that's all. And that is what I want to do today. I want you to understand, I know what you feel because I felt the same way. I was down and out. I was lost in the lost and found department for a very long time. It was a time I did not want to hear anything about God, about positive mental attitude, about anything like that. Because I was disgusted because I was so down and out. But you know, the beauty of it is life has something else for you. And you can change. But I want you to know first and foremost, I do feel you, my friend. I do hurt with you. And if you're facing a COVID problem right now or you're laid off or you lost your work, you lost your, your direction of life, I know what it is, and I want you to understand that when you reach out to me, you're reaching out to somebody that walked that road before, and I got through it. Mind you, not always easy, because we went through valleys so deep that I had no clue how to get out of there. But God is an awesome God, and that's why I mentioned that tough times never last. I've carried that since 1981. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You see, the reality is there's a lot more inside of you than it appears to be on the outside. Sometimes it looks like you're a weasel, but you have the heart of a lion, but you need that something. You need that connection. Please reach out and let me know what we can do for each other. God bless you. And remember, we can live for tough times. Never last, but tough people do. God bless you. Bye.